the rim. I have made exactly two preseason videos on this channel that I can actually remember. One was the overdramatic Zion video that I will still stand by because if he had been healthy, I think a lot of what I said was true there. And then I quit after the James Harden video. Bro just didn't even use that move even once in the regular season. In any case, I try to stay away from preseason analysis. It is preseason. Some guys are just trying to do cardio. Others are actually trying to make a statement. Every now and then though, something catches my eye and I can't help but get excited. I think we all knew a Victor Wimbenyama preseason analysis was coming sooner or later. I have been awaiting his interest into the league ever since I first saw him scrolling Twitter probably two, three years ago. I had the pleasure of watching him up close in Vegas. After that second game, like the Spurs, I had seen everything I needed to see. It was clear once the confidence improved, he was a very capable player. I was already impressed with what I saw in OKC. Then there was last night's game. Again, preseason, nobody on the Heat is playing. I still want to go through a lot of what he did and what the potential is here though. A player at his size, moving the way he does, giving a team the options that he provides. I just feel like we should take a look. Also, just I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Congratulations, San Antonio, <laughs> you got one. At the free throw line, he's initially the help here on a potential Thomas Bryant role that is taken away. Immediately shifts back to Haywood Highsmith on the perimeter who actually does get by him. Yet, as you'll see, getting by Wimbenyama is probably not going to be enough a large percentage of the time this season. Not only that, he drove straight into help. Kind of just had to put something up and look where he <laughs> blocks this shot. He blocks it all the way at the top. If he hadn't have got to it, it had a chance to go. I might mention he did this with relative ease. The element that's really going to take me time to get used to is a seven foot four player being run off of screens as if he's a shooting guard. Of course, with him and his skill set, you have a ton of options you saw in the OKC game. Maybe it's a one dribble to a three pointer. Maybe it's an attack to the rim. That's pretty much where his mind was here except the entire defense collapsed, so he just stopped and took a little soft free throw jumper, which I will also point out was technically contested. It's just that you look where his release point is. Is that really a contest? To him, I, I don't know. For this play on a potential break, you've got him as the trailer. He aggressively cuts middle, that gets taken away, so it's one dribble to the side, pull up, jumper, fading jumper at seven foot four. Alrighty then. This shot missed, but I do want to point out this is the exact type thing you would see from Kevin Durant. Hand off, reject the screen, one dribble into the pump fake actually, gets the defender moving, fades and had a really, really high chance of making this shot. He just didn't get the bounce. Wimby the Roamer, that is going to make a lot of lives miserable throughout his career. Steps in the paint to help, blocks the vision. Sohan is there to read the passing lane, gets the steal. And this man is going to Euro step the dunk. That is just utterly ridiculous to be moving like that at almost the size of Yao Ming. It's for sure gonna take some time for his post game to come along. I think that's where sometimes the lack of strength really shines through. That does not mean there aren't scenarios where he's going to be doubled. When he is, somebody is going to be gifted something. It might take a couple passes, but there will be some gifts. Once again, another miss. Just for the sake of looking at options though, this could have easily have been a handoff into a screen. He could put the ball on the floor. And he also has the option to just get one foot behind the line and shoot, which especially in his rookie year will probably be the preferred option. As that shot really comes along, however, I don't think there are gonna be any options that a defense is comfortable with. Just the fact that one of three or four things could happen happen it's gonna put incredible pressure on the defense we've seen off ball screens for him on the perimeter you've also got off ball sending him to a side and he immediately makes his choice here get set shot good once again though just on the topic of pressure when Wimby's defender catches that screen this could be a shooter setting that now you're trying to communicate who's going to Wimby where the shooter is where Wimby's going just so many options as he gets more talented as his team gets more talented 
oh buddy how about a defensive highlight and guarding multiple people there is one more or less wide open under the rim he slides over to deter that and then turns around and still gets the block that's what's really frightening whatever happens with his offensive game this year his defense is going to be ridiculous especially being used as a roamer not always having to be on the ball maybe not sticking the best player he's gonna wreak havoc we saw something similar to this in the okc game where he was actually beaten off the dribble turned around and still got the block because of his physicals he can break a lot of rules and if he stays disciplined and breaking rules becomes the second option oh buddy this is the one i posted on twitter and i wondered if it was going to get a lot of slick comments because i got used to watching it over and over however when i saw it in real time i was pretty confused trey jones with the ghost screen takes the pass wimby immediately cuts and before he even passes the top of the key he's calling for a lob trey is already in the process of throwing the lob he gathers himself at the free throw line this pass is on its downturn and he catches it as it's on its downturn and turns it into an alley what am i looking at seriously look where the pass lost air and it still turned into a lob that's a video game glitch that is a video game glitched lob glazing aside though once again just the pressure that will be applied to defenses this is your seven foot four big man passing and cutting at a minimum this is opening up shots for his teammates oh and this was really the one here he is taking the ball up the court gonna receive the screen from a potential shooter he's aggressive though he's looking for his own shot and this is just pure skill i don't know what you do with a player of this size exhibiting this type of skill with the ball <laughs> you're never gonna contest this your hope is to poke the ball away first or have enough help to make it a terrible shot if you just freeze it though falling away you look where the hands are this is a wide open shot a wide open shot he manufactured on the ball nothing came of it here but i will pull up the okay KC footage because something similar happened once again he's just kind of helping lurking using that wingspan and strips it as soon as he does this he's clearly been instructed to get down the court as fast as possible one of his guys will find him doesn't happen here though if you were watching the OKC game he did this and he was gone that's what led to his dunk I expect to see many fast break Wimby points this year created off of just ridiculous steals we talked about the double teams he'll potentially be seeing even if his post game isn't quite there yet yet he still had no choice but to double here Sohan fakes the screen and reads that cuts down the middle just great instinct from both guys here I'm excited for Wimby the passer I don't need to say much for this one I just want to point out the fact that Thomas Bryant is six foot nine and it looks like a point guard got dunked on here just one dribble nothing anybody can do we saw something like this at the very beginning of the video. Thomas Bryant is trying to create something down the middle. Wimbenyama has picked up on this. He's clogging it a bit. In the regular world, this almost always opens up some type of shot, except Victor has successfully held down the paint and <laughs> blocked the jump shot as it was pretty high up. Once again, I don't know what you do. <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, so once again, preseason ball against a team where, I mean, to be fair, a lot of these guys are probably trying to play for minutes in a job. Still not the most physically capable defenders. I am curious who's going to be his best defender this year. Before we even get to all that, though, I am just very encouraged by a guy that I, once again, have been looking at over the years and came away from Vegas just thinking he just he's just got to get stronger and more confident then there won't be much he can't provide to a team. This is the rookie that I am most excited to see since Zion. He hasn't let me down on purpose. He just hasn't been on the court. Let's hope this story goes differently. What are you projecting for Wimbenyama's rookie season? Let me know in the comment section. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed and hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications every time a new video drops. Appreciate you all watching and I'll see you on the next one.